Today, we're gonna be opening a Pokemon mystery box that I spent $700 on on Etsy. Yeah, Etsy, not eBay. Now we've opened mystery boxes here on this channel before that have been absolutely stellar. It's an Umbreon staff card from region, what? And we've also opened up mystery boxes that were absolute duds. It's definitely an okay card to pull when you're opening packs, but not really what you wanna see is a graded PSA card in a $700 PSA mystery box. But the one cool thing I can tell you is that the hits in this box, I don't know what's inside, but we're gonna see and open it up. Anything that's worth anything is gonna be given away to a lucky viewer. All you have to do is make sure you're subscribed and watch the end of this video so you know how to enter to win and I ship all around the world. So let's hope this box is not a dud. And yo, check out this sticker. It is absolutely horrendous. <laughs> Anyway, let's open it up and have some fun. Now, as we open this up and take all the contents out, we'll look at these things one at a time here. We'll save the big hitters for the end. The person who I purchased this from on Etsy had no idea who I am. You can tell this person doesn't know me. They said Patrick Flynn. Only my mom calls me Patrick when she's mad at me. Anyway, from the looks of it, it looks like there aren't any what I like to call little extras. Sometimes they throw in dice or plush toys or anything like that. Uh, this seems to be just straight up TCG stuff. A Battle League deck on top. Got some blisters, we'll open those. We have a Shining Fates ETB. A bunch of wrapped, what looks like singles, some packs, and there's a graded card in here, that's promising, and an envelope. All right, we have some singles. That's cool, Japanese card in there. I wonder what that is. Next we got, oh, okay, a BGS graded card, nice. Next we got three Chilling Rain packs two battle styles and nice three hidden fates hidden fates is by far one of my all-time favorite sets to open maybe we can get a shiny charizard that would be cool okay next in here it has what looks what is, okay a few groups of cards multiple cards in penny sleeves okay we have the bubble wrap top loaders and then finally we have a yellow envelope please do not bend it says let's uh, take out whatever's inside and oh okay looks like a psa english card that's all no. Well, let's put $700 on the screen, starting with the Zacian V League Battle deck. This is a theme deck, Sword and Shield obviously featuring Zacian. Inside we have instructions, uh, a few promo cards, the battle deck. We've got some dice and counters, and let's open up the battle deck and just see what's inside. It's just the 60 card deck that make up this particular deck that you can go and play with for the TCG. And speaking of TCG, make sure to check out the mystery box that was actually put together that we opened here. Two world champion TCG players put together for us. It was epic. It's going to blow your mind. I'll link to it at the end, but definitely check that out. You don't want to miss it. All right here we have a sword and shield blister with a Wulu promo. A Battle Styles Blister featuring a Hollow Charmander promo. We'll add this to the stack of booster packs we saw earlier and let's open them up and see what's inside. We're not gonna keep these sealed, let's open them up. Sword and Shield base set. A rare is a non-hollow Sanaconda. Next up, we got a Battle Styles pack looking for that Gold Houndoom or the Alt Art Tyranitar. We have a Colossal Hollow. Okay, it's a hollow. Chilling Rain is up next and I have not had the best luck at all with Chilling Rain. Let's hope we can turn that around. In this first pack, we have Zarud Hollow in the back slot, okay. Next pack after that, also Chilling Rain. Let me know, have you had any luck with Chilling Rain? I mean, the Pokemon Center ETBs crushed me, of course, but even a couple booster boxes have just gotten no alt darts, just a rainbow. In this pack, a Porygon Z, all right? In the final pack of Chilling Rain, we've got the Upside Down Squid, Malamar with. Moving on to Battle Styles, come on, let's get a hit. In this pack, we've got Primate, just Primate, okay. Slow start here, next pack, another Battle Styles. We've got a Galarian Mr. Rhyme. Let's move on, we got the Hidden Fates packs now. If there are any packs in here we'd wanna get a hit in, it would be these packs. We've got three of them. First one, slow roll this one, we got a Lightning Energy, City Gym, Giovanni's Exile, man, I always pull the full art of that when I tell you. Charmander, Slowpoke, Psyduck, Reverse Graveler, yo! Okay, a Hyper Rare Da Birds. We got a Rainbow Moltres Zapdos Articuno. That is nice, look at that. And our next Hidden Fates pack, can we go two for two? We have a Baby Shiny Ralts. Okay, final pack of Hidden Fates now. We're gonna go for three for three, right? Three for three, let's see it. We got, <laughs> told you, no way. We got a Giovanni's Exile, full art. 
seriously, there's so many of these printed. It's it's crazy. But hey, it's a, it's a it's a hit. And remember, someone is getting all these cards. Let's actually check out some of these singles. They're staring right at me. We have a Japanese tag team trainer behind them. More Japanese cards and a shiny Toxel. So maybe these are sort of packs, right? And the hit is in the pack. That's kind of cool. I like that. So uh, these ones were all Japanese cards. Let's check out the next one here. All right. And the sleeve card in the back is a reverse Snorlax. Okay, not the best, uh, but not bad. We'll put that on the wall of hits here, uh, just reverse. But let's see, let's keep going. All right, now the Pikachu. This is a little vintage, of course. This is from Base Set Unlimited. The Pikachu is a great card. Behind Pikachu we have Bulbasaur, another starter from Unlimited, Squirtle. Okay, see, th these are all from Unlimited. That's really cool. Charmander, Machop, Magnemite. We got Voltorb, Poliwhirl, Haunter, and Dratini. Okay. Cool. Cool set of mostly just common and uncommon base set unlimited. Not a ton of value, but definitely nostalgic, which is cool. Oh, and I uh, I just noticed this Pikachu. Look at that crease right there on the upper left hand corner. That That's not good. So th there go our chances for submitting this card for any sort of good grade. All right, let's put those back. And now let's pick up uh, the Squirtle from base set two. Okay, so are all these from base set two now? Magnemite, Executor. Poliwhirl again, so again, more commons and uncommons from base set two this time. War Turtle. Okay, that's a little better. I like the War Turtle. And the last one is a far fetched. Okay, well, at least it seems the condition on these base set two cards, or at least the Squirtle, is a little better. All right, this is the Electrode from Evolutions. Probably all Evolutions card if we follow the same pattern. Let's see. Yep, anything here? Uh, Charizard Spirit Link Reverse Hollow. Okay. Oh, okay, nothing to write home about quite yet. Uh, let's try these singles now, the ones that are here in the top loaders. Flipping this first one over, we have a Mytiana from Ruby and Sapphire, I think it is. Uh, nice looking hollow there from some of the e-reader card sets. Uh, Toxtricity, Baby Shiny from Shining Fates. Cramorant, Baby Shiny, also from Shining Fates. We have a Solgaleo GX from Sun and Moon Base. Then we've got the Shiny a Lynx V from Shining Fates. I wish there was a little bit more variety here, right? Behind a Charizard GX, the regular one from Hidden Fates. A, ooh, okay, a Clefairy Hollow with a really, really sweet swirl in the upper right-hand corner. Mewtwo Mew from Japan, Tag Team All-Stars. I love the look of this card, that's really cool. This one is a Prism card with a Giratina. A baby Shiny Alolan Vulpix, okay, that's cute, uh, from Hidden Fates. And then, oh, okay, I like this, this is, we're getting back into the vintage and some of the hits now too. We've got a Jolteon from Jungle Unlimited. That is sick. Uh, I think my favorite card from the lot so far. In fact, that's really nice. We got the Pikachu non holo from Jungle. Classic looking artwork there from the same set to finish off this set of singles. That was fun, not a ton of value. So again, we have some catching up to do, but a good experience opening the box so far. So we're gonna open up this ATB now, which has 10 packs of Shining Fates. We're gonna see what, what we come up with. Now, Shining Fates, like Hidden Fates, very comparable set in terms of structure and hit rate. You got the subset of Shiny Pokemon in there, and there's the Chase Charizard. Very fun set to open. You can also get two hits in one pack sometimes, which is pretty cool. So let's see how many hits we get from this particular box. I've had good ones, I've had terrible ones. Actually, let's pop all the loot inside this bottom part of the ETB to keep things organized for the giveaway. We'll sleeve up these promos too from the battle box from the beginning, and We'll stick that EV promo in there for you too. Of course, we'll include that for the winner. All right, 10 packs, here we go. First pack magic, let's see what we get. We get, hey, we did get something, a Galarian Zigzagoon. All right, good start, let's keep it going. Second pack, we got a Professor's Research uh, dud pack. Okay, pack number three. Ooh, some shine, you see that? We have, we've got a hit of some kind, could it be? Ah, VMAX, Rillaboom. Not the Charizard, but that would've been pretty cool. Some incredible luck, but hey, still got a lot of packs to go. Let's keep it going, keep the hits coming. We've got a Cinderace V in the back slot, nice. Let's sleeve that up. Next pack, we're about halfway through this ETB now. We get a Hollow Luxray. Okay, the Charizard pack coming up next. We got a... Dreadnought non hollow far rare. All right, just a few packs left. Next, a Ditto VMAX full art. I love the look and the sort of the, the texture of these full arts here in Shining Fates. Really, really nice. Next pack, we got 
a dud. Uh, but two more left. Okay, next pack. Keep it going. Come on, a couple more hits. Behind the EV, we get... Ooh, a full art shiny Ditto V. So we had the uh, Ditto V V Max from the regular set, and now from the shiny subset, the shiny Ditto V. You gotta love a blue Ditto. And behind... Okay, we got a Cinderace V. Pretty good pack right there. Twofer. We got a twofer pack. And then in our final pack of the Shiny Fates ETB, come on, let's pull something good. Ah, okay, nothing, nothing. That's all right, dud pack. But you know what, that was still pretty good. Six hits out of 10 packs, can't complain. Nothing stellar, but uh, you know, better than no hits for sure. All right, the big three that we've been waiting for. We need a lot of help here. We've got a couple graded cards in this top loader that we are going to start with. Looking at the condition in the back, it's it's okay, a little off center, but we got some whitening on the left as well. But anyway, let's see what it is. Oh, a reverse hollow Charizard from Evolutions. Beautiful card right here. Definitely a chase card from Evolutions. Not as valuable as the regular hollow, of course, but when you see this in your pack, you definitely get excited about it. Uh, congrats to whoever this is going to. That's definitely, I think, our most valuable hit so far. But let's look at the condition of this first. Yeah, we got the whitening on the top corner. Uh, def definitely not going to grade a PSA 10. I'd see eh, probably an 8 with that edge wear that you could see there too. All right, pop him back into his top loader. Let's see what these graded cards are. We need some help here, so let's make it happen. Let's start with the BGS Beckett graded card, which is... Uh, <laughs> a Mint 9 Guzma. I mean, it's great to have any graded card in hand, of course, but a Guzma? A Guzma? A Guzma? Definitely not what I was looking for and hoping for, and I would have never guessed that this would have been in here. And, um, yeah. Okay. But alas, we have one final last hope. One more opportunity to make up the difference, and maybe this is what this mystery box was about. It was all leading up to this. Remember, this was in that special yellow envelope. It says, please do not bend. Didn't say that about the uh, Guzma, but it said it about this card. Let's see. Okay, come on. Come on. <laughs> okay, this is a gorgeous card. It, it is a gorgeous card. PSA 8 Dragonite from Unlimited. Definitely the most valuable card that I think is in here right now. Um, didn't get us to even, but really amazing card. The reason I'm laughing is because we recently did a video and, and it's published, I'll link to it in the description, where we, we pulled a fossil first edition Dragonite. We went through an experiment of getting it graded, selling it on eBay and, and seeing if we could profit from it. Anyway, I'll link to that video below. And, and before you go, Right? How do you win these things? I'm Every single thing that I've put into this ETB and the, these graded cards, everything is gonna go to one single person, one lucky viewer, and that could be you. I know the value wasn't what we had hoped, and I mean, I mean come on, it's a random mystery box on Etsy. I mean, logically, they're gonna sell it to make a profit, right? So what are we expecting? If we get a profit on them, then we are very, very lucky. So again, this is, I'm not surprised, but hey, let me take the L so you can take the win. And speaking of win, in order to win, all I need you to do is leave a comment below and let me know if if you were to make your own mystery box, what are a few things that you might put in it, right? If you wanted a really cool experience for somebody or or not, maybe maybe you're evil and you're gonna put something not so great in there. What would you put in your mystery box? Let me know in the comment section below and more information is in the description as far as when the giveaway is gonna happen, but you need to be subscribed. You need to leave that comment. And thank you again for watching Deep Pocket Monster. Here's another video of a mystery box that was actually created by some TCG players. Yes, championship, world championship TCG players. You're not gonna wanna miss this mystery box right here. Check it out now.